Alright guys, so today is shopping day. I'm here at H-E-B, which is the place that I probably hate the most. Thank goodness I do not have my kids with me, because that's even 10 times worse. But I just have a small list today, but I kind of want to show y'all a little bit on how I shop to save money, because we all know that shopping is super expensive. So... Alright, so I want to go over kind of my process of going grocery shopping and how I try my best to save as much money as possible because we all know that prep food and groceries are really expensive, especially whenever I'm buying for myself and the kids. First, I write out a list on what I need to get and then I go through this app the Ivana app and I see if they have any coupons and stuff and then if they do then I'll write some of that stuff down that I want to get and then I'll show y'all how to use that app and what it does and everything I don't know if anybody has heard of this app but it's an app that you basically let me see if I can show y'all there's different kind of categories in there there's grocery pharmacy clothing so I always usually go to grocery and I always shop at HB, but you can pick the store that you're going to shop at. There's all these kind of coupons, I guess you can call it. I mean, there's not like pizza rolls. There, it's not all healthy stuff on here, but there is stuff on here to save. So if you have like kids and say with that, I mean, there's mangoes, there's turkey breast, and there's all kinds of stuff. There's food, there's household stuff, there's, there's Red Bull, you know, every they change their stuff and they add and take away things every once in a while like there's burger buns there's regular bread there's dairy there's there's eggs there's produce whole household there's even beauty products and so you basically go through here find out what you want say I want some apples from the store and then just click unlock you follow the steps it says to unlock and it unlocks it and I know it's just like 25 cents that you're saving. There's some that you save a dollar, but it adds up. I know it took me about a month and a half and I saved up to $30. And what you do is after you buy the stuff, you scan it and then you take a picture of the receipt and then it adds it to the phone. And then whenever you want to check it out, you can put it on a gift card or you can put it through PayPal. And then I, I went to the store and I made a list and kind of show you all examples on how and where you can save your money. Uh, I mean, tip number one, always buy in bulk. If you buy in bulk, you're going to save money in the long run. Yes, it's more money up front, but you're going to be saving more money in the long run. And then two is always... Well, it's like about 98, 99% of the time you're buying off-brand. The off-brand is always going to be cheaper. Like, for example, I, the Quaker Oats, the, the ones that come in the can, it's about a pound and two ounces, it says. The Quaker brand is two thirty-seven, while the off-brand, the Hill Country Fair, I think it is, is one thirty-six. And then the quick oats that come in a package is 158 but each pack is probably like a fourth of a cup and I know most of us use like half a cup at least. Um, with the rice cups, I know those rice cups that you just put in the oven for, put in the microwave for like a minute are really helpful and really convenient, but those cups are $1.78 and there's only two cups in there versus just like a bag that... I don't even know how much it carries, but it carries way more than two cups of rice. It is a dollar forty. You don't have to buy like the well-known brand or the one that says you know ninety-nine or ninety-eight percent less fat and stuff. I bought a chicken. I bought a pack of chicken that was a dollar ninety-nine a pound. I forget the brand. And the Hill Country Fair was two seventy-seven a pound. And yes, the one that I bought probably had a little bit more fat, but all you have to do is cut out that fat. I hate shopping so much. Mm. Mm. 
I hate HB so much. There's so many people. I just don't like a lot of people. But I did get a list of stuff to help you see the difference in prices. I did, I spent $49. Uh, some of it wasn't food, food stuff, actually. I got some stuff for my hair. And fish was what was more expensive or the most expensive. I have salmon in my diet, so I'm trying salmon for the very first time. So I got three different kinds, and each piece was $4.50. So that's where a lot of uh, the money came. That's $15. The big pack of chicken breasts were, was $8. i will go over a lot of this stuff later on when we get home. I really like to le read labels and compare prices and everything, of course, because I'm trying to save as much as I can. But I'll go over that whenever I get home and put all the groceries up. I'm cream pie. I'm trying to find what I bought with this. Oh, broccoli. I think I bought broccoli. Produce. Broccoli, verify purchases. Okay, so I gotta find a Six fifty. So far saved. Broccoli. The salmon was four fifty each. So that's a total of 15 bucks. 8.70 for chicken. I don't know what that is. Cool. Oh, okay. This is my two hair products. So that's another $10. Ten so 15 plus 10 is 25. And the orange juice. This whole box was a buck. So it, it totaled out to $50, but minus the 25 of the salmon and then my hair products, it was $25, right? You party. Mwah. I'm scared. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. It's not that bad. Tilapia is not that bad. I still hate fish. Like, it's not something I enjoy eating. Alright, let's get ready for a full body workout. First, I started with chest flies. And I do four sets of 15. And I usually keep the weight between 10 and 15 pounds. And I am bending my arms just slightly as I bring down the weight and as I extend back up I'm really squeezing kind of through my pinkies making a v-shape out of the dumbbells and that's gonna really squeeze and activate your chest and I want to superset these with a push-up and an in and out on a step so I'm gonna push up and then open my feet and close them and push up open and close push up, open and close. And I'll do that 10 times. Next exercise, I moved on to a chest supported back row. And this is gonna be targeting your back. And I did four sets of 15. And as I pull up, I'm really squeezing my back and activating my back here. So I pull down and then pull back up and squeeze and then repeat. And then I superset it with an in and out squat with a step and I did these a total of 10 times. And then I went on to a side to front lateral raise and I did a total of 4 sets and 15 reps. And then I superseted that with mountain climbers, and I did a total of 40. Here they come again. Here they come again. Yeah, they come again. Next is an inclined chest press. 
I have the bench at a slight incline and I did a total of 4 sets and 15 reps. We're not going to do a superset with these. The next exercise is a squat to shoulder press. So I'm squatting and as I'm standing up, I'm pressing up and I did a total of 4 sets and 15 reps. And then next is a curl to a shoulder press and I did a total of 4 sets and 10 reps. And this is going to work both your biceps and your shoulders. And to finish off this workout, we're going to do 10 burpees and we're going to do a total of 4 sets. Yes, I know everybody hates burpees, but burpees work great to really burn that fat and to get your body moving as a full body workout.